Kayaks are heavy and lifting them is certainly no fun, but we can eliminate the pain and suffering of loading them into the back of our pickup trucks by making an easy to use kayak storage and loading cart like this one right here. I'm gonna show you how to make this one in the next five minutes or less. But first, let me explain the requirements that I had when I was looking for a good storage and loading cart. First, I wanted to make sure my cart disassembled quite easily. Next, I wanted to make sure that it helped me when I loaded my kayak into my truck. And finally, when I came home from the marsh after a long day of fishing, I wanted to make sure that as I hosed off the muck that the cart itself would drain properly and that none of the materials would be ill affected by the water. This cart satisfies all three. But you might be asking, why do I need it to disassemble easily? Well, it's because I have a two car garage and I have two cars. Now, I leave my truck on the outside mostly and I leave the kayak right here stored on the cart. But at times, like when you go on vacation, you wanna pull your truck in along with your car and have your kayak here. Well, I have a kayak storage rack installed on the wall. That's where my kayak hangs. I can still get my truck in, but I needed the cart to disassemble. It's quite easy to disassemble. Let me show you how easy. All you have to do is grab the tubes and pick right up. That's all it takes to disassemble this cart. The cart can go in the back of the truck and this piece here, well, it's flat. So it can lay up against a wall quite easily and still both cars fit in the garage. This is the only storage cart I could find that fit all three requirements. Let me show you how I built it. Well, first I have to give credit to Left Yak Fishing. Now he's no longer a YouTuber, he's pulled down all his videos, but in communicating with him about this cart, which he designed, I asked a bunch of questions and he told me he was gonna delete his video and that I should do one instead. This is that video. So first, the cart. The piece that you have to build is this box and the PVC tubes. Now the box is uh, quite easy to build. It's made of two four by fours and two two by fours connected by two lag bolts in each of the two by fours into the four by fours and that's on both sides. So you have eight lag bolts holding the two by four against the four by four. In addition, you have the PVC tubes. Now these are eight feet long and they have a, a wider hole up at the top. In the middle, there is a lag bolt that bolts it to the four by fours. Now these two on center are 11 and a half inches apart, but that's for my kayak. I have a 2022 Hobie Outback. So it's perfect for that kayak, but for your kayak, it might be different. So what I encourage you to do is to measure the two grooves that go down the two sides of your kayak, space these that far apart, and you're gonna be good. Really, that is it in terms of how difficult it is to build uh, this cart. It's really a box with two PVC tubes nailed to it. What it sits on is a cart that you have to purchase from Uline. Link in the description below. This cart is easy to assemble. I think it's about 16 screws, all the same size. It comes with the wheels and everything that you need. But let me show you the one modification you have to do to it. The one modification is to the top, the drawers, and also to the shelf below. And remember one of the requirements is when you get your kayak home, you wanna be able to hose it off. Well, water will pool up in these areas if you don't just take a simple drill bit and drill out the corners. I've drilled out the corners as well as put a few holes in the center. And that's true of the top, the bottom shelf, as well as this a little utility tray that is molded into it. It's a very high quality cart. The only thing that I would suggest is really think about the wheels that you're getting. I know they sell additional wheel kits with locks. The wheels that come, you get two swivel wheels, which I've installed close to the handle here for turning, and you get two fixed wheels. The problem is the swivel wheels do not have a lock. Now my garage is level, the cart's not going anywhere with my kayak on top, but it'd be nice to have locks to just secure it in place when it's sitting in the garage. And when you're building out this cart, it's really important to get the four by fours the exact same length and they need to have squared off edges. Here's a pro tip. I got these four by fours from Lowe's. Don't trust the edge of the wood that you get from any store like Lowe's or Home Depot or any lumber yard. Go ahead and take your saw and make sure that it's square. The key is that the box that you're building needs to fit exactly in here, especially the width measurement. Now the length measurement, I made mine a little short. 
The reason for that is, as you load your kayak in and push it into the truck, you'll notice that the kayak will bend down and the edge here will come up out of the cart. That's perfectly fine. In fact, it assists you in getting the kayak to slope into the truck. Same with these edges here. On the PVC, I cut these off at 45 degree angles because when you're going to load your kayak in, you push this up and then you get this underneath your kayak and one way to do that is to just lift it. And just that little bit of motion lifting the top half of the cart makes all the difference in the world for the ease of use of loading and unloading this cart. You can make it a little bit longer. I think I have an extra two inches exactly here. I made it two inches shorter than the top, but I did it for that reason. If you look under here, I have these four furniture feet. These feet serve to keep the wood from the bottom of the tray. Therefore, when you spray it off, water can then drain more easily through the holes that you've drilled. So make sure you put some furniture feet on here. I think this pack cost me a couple of bucks. You can find them anywhere. This is the kind that has the nail on the other end and you just bang them into uh, the two by fours. Another good thing about keeping this shorter is that you don't crush your knuckles when you're lifting it and putting it back in. So some of the measurements here I wanna show you. These will be on the website uh, too. But this measurement of the two by four, right at 33, 33 and a quarter inch. The Pipes themselves, the tubes, are exactly eight feet long. These four by fours are 21 and a half inches. That gives you 1 16th of an inch play. Not much play, but if you build a square box, you're not gonna have any issues whatsoever. It'll fit right in there just like that. Well, there you have it. If you'd like to learn more of the details behind building this, illustrations, uh, pictures of different angles of this, and then just go to my website. I'll put the link in the description below. It's kayakfishingaddict.com. This kayak cart and all its details I'll put in a blog post. It's as easy as that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Kayak Fishing Addict. This is YouTube. I'll see you in a few days. Nice.